have you ever had an idea? Maybe it's for a new product, um, a new business, or a new invention or something, and you got real excited about it, um, you were just real happy, you felt it on the inside, and you got started, and you started drawing sketches, you started writing things out, and then not even halfway through the process, you fail. You stop. Those feelings aren't there anymore. Why is that? One thing that we fail to realize, we are operating under a subconscious mind and a conscious mind. The conscious mind is the one that I'm using right now to where I can decide what I want to say, what type of information I want to absorb. The subconscious mind, it has two functions. And that is to absorb anything. Whether it's true, whether it's false, it just takes in information, okay? It's just like a hard drive on a computer, it takes in information. The other function is it pulls it up whenever you need it, it replays it. So if you constantly hear something over and over, um, that's going to be embedded in your, your mind, your subconscious mind. What keeps us from doing the things that we want to do in life is our paradigm. And the, our paradigm is um, habits. It's strong habits, um, things we were taught when we were little, um, things that we actually believe, um, even some of the superstition that people believe in. These are the things that keep you from doing the stuff you want. When someone tells you, oh, that's not going to work. You don't have the money to do that. You need a high school education if you plan on doing that. Where are you going to get the materials to do such? Who's going to sponsor you? Who's going to buy that? If you have 20 negative thoughts against that one positive thought, it's just like someone's being jumped. You know, you walk down the street and got 20 people that's ready to jump you. You're going to feel outnumbered. And you're going to take off and you're going to run. Okay? It's the same thing when a person has a new idea new concept, a business venture, and they hear all this negative stuff and people shoot it down, they feel they are outnumbered and they run. That paradigm that's inside of you that tells you that you can't keeps you from doing the things that you want to do. You have to retrain yourself. You have to create a positive habit, a habit of telling yourself you are the inventor of this product. You have a new business. You can do whatever you set your mind to do. The same way you believe that you're breathing, that you can walk, you don't sit there and look down at your feet and wonder if you're gonna hold yourself up. It's natural, it comes natural. You know you can do it. Of course, when you were a baby, when you're a little star now, you had to you know, put your arms out and kind of hold on to things, but now it comes natural. You can do it now without even thinking. That's how you have to train your subconscious mind to believe that you can do the things that you say you want to do. If you want things to manifest in your life, you have to have a strong passion. If you really want to do something, you're going to do it. If you have this passion or this urge that you want to make some chocolate brownies, you're going to get out of your bed. I don't care if it's 3 o'clock in the morning. You're going to go to that 24-hour grocery store. You're going to get all the ingredients that you want, and you're going to make those brownies because you really, really want it. That's how you have to work towards your dreams and goals. You have to really, really want it. And it doesn't make a difference. So it's like, oh boy, you stupid girl, you crazy leaving out your house out there in the snow and the rain just to make some brownies. If you really want something, go get it. It doesn't make a difference how you're going to do it. Because if you tell yourself that you've already done it, your subconscious mind is going to begin working to try to figure out how can I manifest this? What people do I need to be in front of? What images I have to see? What audio do I have to hear in order to bring this thing together? Your persistence and your belief will help you achieve whatever you want to achieve. The only way you're going to be successful in your life is you have to get rid of that natural paradigm that was given to you at birth. When you heard your parents say you have to work hard in order to become successful, you have to go to college and get a degree if you want to make six figures. That's false. 
so many people go into debt, going to school. You know, I don't have anything against college or furthering your education as if you want to do that. But so many people do this and go to college to work for someone who is a high school dropout. If you believe that you have something in you that can make you successful, if you can sing, if you can dance, if you can play music, if you can draw, if you can paint, um, if you have the gift of gab, if you are a motivational speaker like I am, if you truly believe that you have something in you, it's already here. You don't have to go to school to get it. You don't have to purchase anything. It's built in you. That is your success right there. That's what's going to bring you the things that you want in your life. But you have to have a passion. You have to work at getting those things by training yourself you already have. You have to believe you've already made it. You've already done it. Nothing can stop you if you would just believe in you. Thank <laughs> you.